Good morning, Springfield. Today is Wednesday, March 14, 2018. Celebrating a birthday today in the high school is Tyler Constantino. And in the middle school, none. Today is Pi Days, that, a day that celebrates the mathematical term Pi, spelled P-I. Many retailers have hopped on the board to celebrate this day and having sales on actual pies, spelled P-I-E. Pizza pies and fruit pies are included. Here are some places that you can catch a deal. Papa John's is running a 25% off menu item. At Pizza Hut, you can get three medium pizzas for $5 each. BJ's Restaurant and Brewery in Boardman has a special going on that you can purchase a mini one-topping pizza for $3.14 dine-in only. You get a free piece of pie with an entree purchase at O'Charlie's, and if you are looking to dine at home, stop by Giant Eagle and get a fresh 8-inch fruit pie with for th only $3.14 with your Advantage card. Enough with the food, I'm getting hungry. We now have freed student teacher Miss Langer to talk a little more about the mathematical term pi. Miss Langer, Miss Friedenberger student teacher to find out exactly what is pi. So, what is pi? Pi is approximately 3.14 and it has a lot of applications in geometry, and in trigonometry, it is an irrational number, which means that it goes on forever without repeating. And why are we celebrating it today? We are celebrating Pi Day today because today is March 14th, and Pi is, again, approximately 3.14, so 3.14. If you could eat any pie today, which kind would it be? Pumpkin, of course. <laughs> and when, when you were in school, how did you guys celebrate Pi Day? Oh man, back when I was in school, we had a math club, so we would meet after school, we would eat pie, we would do pie related activities and games. One of my teachers, he had an online site that he would go to that you could look up like your birthday or your phone number or something and try and find it within the digits of pie. Thank you. You're welcome. That's it. Your autism learners shirt for the month of April. We will only be accepting orders until this Friday. If you are in need of a form, there are extra copies in the office. Please make sure to bring your form and payment to your homeroom teacher by Friday. The high school track team is selling handles pint cards. Please see a track team member or freed if you would like one. Attention book club members, there will be a meeting after school this Thursday. We will be discussing the impossible knife of memory and going to see the movie Love, Simon. There will be prom and art club meetings on Monday, March 19th. You have until the end of April to purchase a yearbook. No extras will be available. Go to our website for the yearbook link to purchase it via credit card or make checks payable to SLHS Yearbook. If you're a freshman or sophomore, give your check to Johnson. Seniors and juniors, give your check to Mullane. In national news, the famous physicist uh, Stephen Hawking passed away in, the home, in his home in Cambridge, England today. Hawking gained recognition for joining the flight for global action and climate change. Hawking was 76 years old. We now go to a commercial break. In entertainment news, the top three apps on iTunes are The Sims, Cars vs. Cops, and Instagram. The top three free apps on Google Play are The Sims, Wish, and Messenger. For more entertainment news, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez are taking a break. Yet again, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez's relationship is starting to turn sour. According to an anonymous source, both of them have trust issues. 
They get into arguments all the time, and now they aren't talking. Because of this, they have decided to not see each other for a while. Now let's see how long it takes for them to get back together. During this day in history, 1967, the U.S. performed nuclear tests in Nevada test site. For the quote of the day, the earth laughs in flowers by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Did you know the Eiffel Tower was repainted every seven years? Now we have Mac with sports. Alyssa Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference basketball boys and girls have been released, and we have several students that are honored for their achievements in this sport. For the boys, John Ritter made the first team, Shane Einan and Evan Olin made the second team, and Drew Clark received an honorable mention. For the girls, Haley Lamorta Sella made the second team, and Mackenzie Capulli received an honorable mention. Congratulations. Back to you guys. Tomorrow's lunch, like every Thursday, will be chicken basket. For tonight's weather, it will be cloudy with a low around 27 degrees and 15 to 25 mile per hour winds. A few snow showers may develop late. The chance of snow is 30%. For tomorrow's weather, it will be 36 degrees with a few flurries possible. Now we have the joke of the day. What do you call an alligator detective? An investigator. <laughs> Have, Have a great, great night, night Springfield. Springfield.